I actually worked for tips instead of having to learn about it secondhand. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez fires back at Ivanka after first daughter claimed people don't want a living wage. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez hit out at Ivanka Trump over her claims that Americans don't want a living wage, reminding her that while the first daughter had to learn about hourly wages secondhand, she actually had first-hand experience of working for tips. The representative who has previously worked in a taqueria and as a bartender asserted in her Tuesday tweet that Americans deserve a living wage as a right. As a person who actually worked for tips and hourly wages in my life, instead of having to learn about it secondhand, I can tell you that most people want to be paid enough to live, Ocasio-Cortez said to her over 3.28 million Twitter followers. A living wage isn't a gift, it's a right. Workers are often paid far less than the value they create. The controversial politician then highlighted productivity since 1973 and the staggering rate it has risen in comparison to how stagnant worker pay is. In fact, wages are so low today compared to actual worker productivity that they are no longer the reflections of worker value as they used to be, she continued, adding a graph from the Economic Policy Institute to support her statement. Productivity has grown 6.2x more than pay. Although she did not mention her by name, Trump took a dig at Ocasio-Cortez's when she was asked about the firebrand self-proclaimed socialist by Fox News interviewer Steve Hilton who asked her, You've got people who will see that offer from the Democrats, from the progressive Democrats, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, here's the Green New Deal, here's the guarantee of a job, and think yeah. That's what I want, it's that simple. She replied, I don't think most Americans, in their heart, want to be given something. I've spent a lot of time traveling around this country over the last four years. People want to work for what they get. So, I think that this idea of a guaranteed minimum is not something most people want. They want the ability to be able to secure a job. They want the ability to live in a country where there's the potential for upward mobility. The disagreement pits the president's daughter, who is becoming a highly sought surrogate among Republicans on the campaign trail, against the youngest member of Congress, who is seen as energizing the liberal left wing of the Democratic Party. Ocasio-Cortez, a freshman lawmaker from New York, is pushing the Green New Deal. A statement of goals and doesn't make specific policy proposals, nor does it specify how it would pay for its ambitious plans. One of its goals is to provide every American with a job and health care. The plan also aims to slow climate change by ending the reliance on fossil fuels within 10 years. To upgrade power grids and existing buildings for maximum energy efficiency. And to overhaul transportation systems. The contest for the Democratic presidential election next year is expected to be a clash between the liberal leanings of Ocasio-Cortez and other Democrats like Bernie Sanders versus the more moderate tones of Democrats like Joe Biden and Amy Klobuchar. But Ivanka Trump dismissed the Democrats' internal battle and said the next presidential race would come down to people being better off than they were before. I think fundamentally if you ask yourself the question, are we better today than we were yesterday or we were two years ago? The answer is, undoubtedly, yes, Trump said. So, as an American, families sitting down and thinking about their financial situation relative to a month ago or a year ago, America is doing very well and it stands in quite sharp contrast to the rest of the world. So, not only are we doing well, much of the world has slowed down in terms of the pace of their growth. Trump and Ocasio-Cortez do have one thing in common, their use of social media to promote their brand and message. Both frequently use their Instagram accounts to communicate but Ivanka Trump leads in followers with 4.7 million compared to Ocasio-Cortez's 2.5 million.